Pope Francis continued his series of catechesis on St. Joseph, reflecting on how Jesus' foster father approached decision-making. He said that St. Joseph was not driven by fear, but tried to recognize the voice of God in every situation to confront problems. Giuseppe prova la paura, ma Dio lo guida attraverso di essa. The Pope advised parents who are experiencing difficulties, like St. Joseph, to not let themselves be led by fear, especially when caring for children with serious illnesses or if a child shows a different sexual orientation. Genitori che vedono orientamenti sessuali diversi nei figli, per come gestire questo e accompagnare i figli e non nascondersi in un atteggiamento condenatorio. At the end of the audience, the Pope recalled that International Holocaust Remembrance Day is observed this week. He also asked for prayers for the situation in Ukraine. Just days before, he asked Catholics worldwide to pray for peace in the region. Chiediamo con insistenza al Signore che quella terra possa vedere fornire la fraternità, superare ferite, paure, divisioni. Pope Francis then explained that he would not be able to personally greet some pilgrims because of a knee problem. E mi permetto di spiegarvi che oggi non potrò andare fra voi per salutarvi e perché ho un problema nella gamba destra, sto infiammando un legame nel ginocchio, ma scenderò e vi saluterò lì voi passate per salutarvi. È una cosa passaggera. Dicono che questo solo viene ai vecchi e non so perché è arrivato a me, ma non so. That's why the Pope ended the general audience by leaving the Paul VI audience hall rather than coming down the stairs, so that pilgrims could line up to come and greet the Pope. Would you like to see the Pope up close and personal? Download the Rome Reports app right now on your phone. There are versions available for both iPhone and Android, in Spanish and English. You will receive the best images of Pope Francis every day right to your cell phone, including his daily homily, his trips around the world, his meetings with global leaders, his acts of mercy to the needy, all this in a short and direct format, brief videos of one to two minutes, so you can watch wherever you are. Open your cell phone now, download the Rome Reports app, and follow Pope Francis everywhere.